it be a Hungarian pope? In an interview with the National Catholic Reporter, Mr. Rod Dreher talks about a lunch with the late Australian Cardinal in January 2023, three weeks before his unexpected death. Mr. Dreher, who is from the US but now lives in Hungary, said that Cardinal Pell was so in favor of the candidacy of the Archbishop of Estegom Budapest, Cardinal Peter Adu, to succeed Pope Francis. At the time of his death, Cardinal Pell had been expecting a conclave imminently and was preparing to play the role of kingmaker in any papal election. He was hoping to crown a candidate who would take things in a very different direction to that pursued by Pope Francis. Hungarian Cardinal Peter Erd, Archbishop of Estegom Budapest, may be emerging as a frontrunner to succeed Pope Francis. The canon law expert is fast becoming a contender to succeed the Holy Father as rumors mount about the latter's health, even with a potential candidate from Asia emerging as a frontrunner as well. Filipino Cardinal Tagel would certainly align with the more liberal position taken by the current Pope. His appointment would also point to the changing demographics of the Church. A Hungarian pope, however, would be enormously significant given the cultural iron curtain dividing a de-Christianized Western Europe from a re-Christianizing East. As John Geise, chief political correspondent for Newsmax, recently pointed out, talk of Erd as a future pope is nothing new. Indeed, Cardinal Erd was being talked about as early as 2013. But, as Geise wrote, one Vatican insider told Newsmax the current Pope is not going to be around for long, adding that, at the most, he will be there until December. Meanwhile the source told Newsmax to closely watch Cardinal Erd, he is the one who, the College of Cardinals, who will elect the next Pope, are beginning to talk about. So, who exactly is Cardinal Erd? Cardinal Erd is considered a traditionalist who respects the celebration of the Latin Mass. But Cardinal Erd is also respected by liberals like the Holy Father, suggesting he could be a unifying force within the Church. Pope Francis has already appointed Cardinal Erd as the Relator General of the Third Extraordinary General Assembly of the Synod of Bishops. The Hungarian cardinal has also been vocal in his support for outreach to Orthodox Christians which may be significant given the huge numbers of Ukrainians currently in Hungary. But what Cardinal Erd has said is perhaps less important than what his appointment would represent. Pope Street John Paul II was considered instrumental in the collapse of communism in Central and Eastern Europe. The Polish Pope's election helped spark the peaceful end of communism in his native country, with his visit in 1979 being a major turning point. While it would be wrong to characterize Cardinal Erd as aligned directly with Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban, a man at the forefront of the culture clash within the EU, his past statements suggest some sympathies, while he is the leading Catholic in a country which is now 80% Christian and very much on the conservative nationalist side of the great European cultural divide. Orban, himself a Calvinist, although his wife and children are Catholic, would see a Hungarian pope as a hugely significant moment, especially as he continues to characterize Hungary and Poland as leaders of Central and Eastern Europe as well as defenders of Western Christdom. Back in 2015, during the height of the European migrant crisis, Cardinal Erd struck a tone which would seem to align with Orbanite politics. At that time, when Pope Francis was calling on Catholics to take in refugees, the Cardinal said taking in refugees would amount to human trafficking. Meanwhile, Bishop Lazlo Kisrigo, the church's most senior official in southern Hungary, was quoted as saying Pope Francis doesn't know the situation and that Hungary was under invasion. In conservative Hungary, Catholics officials are known to ally strongly with Orban, who has warned repeatedly about the presence of Muslims in Europe, arguing that Europe and European identity is rooted in Christianity. This, in a country where church bells toll every day at noon to commemorate a 15th century battle in which Hungary expelled Muslim Turks. Despite Cardinal Erdes' position in 2015 however, 
The following year he expressed concern about tendencies to turn religions against one another. Then in an interview with Velaz online in 2019, when asked directly about Islam and immigration, Cardinal Erd asked rhetorically, can a country, a continent, be called Christian, seemingly a direct challenge to urbanite thinking? The Cardinal added, I wouldn't emphasize whiteness as a Catholic, though. The extent to which Cardinal Erd aligns with Orban is difficult to say. What is clear, however, is that a Hungarian pope would be enormously symbolic in Central and Eastern Europe, given the cultural cleavage within the EU. Last year alone a law which bans the dissemination of content in schools deemed to promote homosexuality and gender change went into effect in Hungary. In conservative and Catholic Poland, there are also zones apparently free of LGBT ideology. The conservative drift in these countries, whether in relation to gay rights or immigration, has highlighted the ideological division within Europe as a whole. Whether Cardinal Erd likes it or not, should he be appointed to lead the Catholic Church one can imagine Central and Eastern Europe energized in its ongoing culture war with the West. Update. The College of Cardinals consists now of 121 electors, situation of the 9th of July 2023. A fresh contingent of cardinals will join on the 30th of September 2023 as 18 new cardinals under 80 years will be created, bringing the number of electors, probably, to 136 cardinals.